Are you copy Aliens Rock? Unrelated, you think Aliens Rock watches you? Plays every game you play like a week after you play it. By the way, I figured out Ice Sleep Puzzle was probably inspired by Aliens Rock. So, there is no way to really make this video without the vibe of patheticness and clout leeching unless it is uploaded on April 1st because it's a stupid video. So, why am I making it anyway? Well, there are some legit funny coincidences that happened, and I can talk about the content creation process in some ways. So, if Chess Battle Advanced is the biggest meme on this channel, which wasn't intended to be a meme, it's more like a parasite that infected my mind. Anyway, the second biggest meme is, are you copy aliens rock? And within all of this, there's this, like, this sort of weird notion that we can own the rights to who gets to play a game first. To me, this all started with this chain of videos. So, I mean, like, the top one is, like, half a week difference. This one is, like, two and a half weeks difference. And this is, like, five days difference between when I played. And so clearly the bottom one is the most sus, like, if you want to call it that. But ever since these three games, though, nothing has been as sus as, like, this chain of videos. Also, like, put how I discovered those games personally. So we'll take this little diversion to talk about... I have a daily upload schedule, but it's actually actually really sporadic. Sometimes I like record three videos a day, um, and then sometimes I don't do anything. This also means that sometimes videos are really delayed from when I recorded them because I like I push videos closer to release if they are closer to the trend, like a new game release or something. Which sometimes means that like let's say I schedule a video to be one week in the future, for example. Then if there's bigger puzzle games or events that come out, that video could get pushed out to be months out, especially if the video isn't recent. Like if the video isn't covering a recent game, then it's likely to get constantly delayed and delayed, which means a few times I got sniped on a video I was sitting on for months. Not that I wanted to sit on the video for months, but you know, it just happens. So again, sniped, this word sniped only matters if I care about being seen as someone who gets to interesting games fast. Which I mean, I guess I do kind of care about that, but that's like... So two of the games that I got sniped by in this sense were Q Remastered, which is a physics puzzle. You draw lines to do objectives, and then you get graded on... Uh, your IQ. <laughs> Another freaking wild coincidence was a game called Perspective, and I had an unlisted video of me playing this on February 4th. I uploaded the video back then, but I stalled it so bad that I got sniped a month later. Seriously, do you know how wild that is? This game is like from 12 years ago. Now, it's a great game, and that's why I also wanted to like revisit it, because you know, <laughs> it's it's a really good game and it's free, but you know, apparently I wasn't the only one with the same idea. And I hope that insane coincidence is what stops the freaking comments. Although they probably won't stop, we're just gonna get random I'm just gonna get comments about this meme forever. This video will probably increase the amount of comments I get about this topic. There are also a number of games that I did a series on, that, but they were like months before, and it doesn't, again, it doesn't re really matter. The dev contacted me for th like three out of five of these examples. I'm just putting these games in the list because it contributes to the stupid meme <laughs> of you play game before other person, or other person play game before you. Now, I used to test puzzle games for years, which is when you contact the developer and record your gameplay and give feedback. Now, I say used to, the reason that is it prevents me from making blind playthrough video content now. It's just like, I don't know if you want to call that a success or failure. <laughs> Here's some of the games I could not make videos on because I was I would no longer be able to play it blind due to testing them. Taiji. Now, I was going to make like a video about its development. Like the Taiji creator actually has like a big devlog. And I had a 13 minute edited video of like how Taiji came to be. I just never finished it. Like there was like m the main reason was because there was not enough old footage I could find for some of the areas. But the game actually does have an interesting development story about like starting from being like a Zelda like to being inspired by the witness. On the plus side though, when you're testing, you get to suggest puzzle ideas. If you finished Taiji, you've played at least two of my puzzles. <clears throat> but anyway, if you haven't heard of Taiji, what are you doing exactly? This 
the game actually made up a lot of my life at this point, which is weird to think about, because I was following it for the years that it was in development. Another game that I can't play anymore is End Step Steve. Now, this is a really good puzzle game. It's totally free, by the way, but it's a series of, like, four games. Actually, three games. Um, You have this move count on the top left, and when you touch a flag, it sets it to that move count. So if I go here, I have nine moves. And so that number decreases, and if I go to zero, I die. So this is a game about move counters, but it is probably the best move counter game ever. It goes so deep into its mechanics, plays around with edge cases, there's like rocks and multiple players, but I can't play it. I still remember way too much of it, like the the d developer asked for like testing it like a year ago or something. Yeah, I still remember it, so I can't, I just can't do the playthrough. On the plus side, this allowed me to influence parts of its development, and you can see its impacts here. Yes. Interdimensional Warrior, a ch part of Chess Battle Advanced. Thank you for the New Year's present. <laughs> Another game that I can no longer do a blind playthrough of, unfortunately, is Islands of Insight. Um, I am, you can tell when I'm recording this, which is not near April 1st. The game will have been out for a month and a half at the point of this video's release. But the game is like an open world puzzle game filled with puzzles, and I have some puzzles in it in the, that I've created, and testing credit because of the testing credits I got for other games. Now, I'm probably, I probably am able to do some videos on that just because, like, the game has so many puzzles that there's going to be some that I actually haven't seen. But, you know, it's still a little sad not being able to do blind playthroughs of these big games. So it's circle it all back that's why i can no longer test puzzle games anyway some other dumb coincidences look this look at this title this bunny puzzle game looks cute but hides meta puzzles well of course i have my own bunny series and here are my first two like testing videos that i showed just like the developers i eventually made the links public so people could see oh it looks cute but hides meta puzzles huh and i made that title like nine months before <laughs> Now someone's gonna say the, the foreign stone stole the titles from me. I think it'd be pretty obvious if my titles were being stolen though. Another thing is the timer. Some of my oldest Baba videos had a timer on the top left. Now of course, I don't own the idea of timers. I first saw Indie Game Chris do this with uh, putting a timer in the video. I stopped putting the timer in at some point, like I, like I either got like lazy or like I just... Timers stopped making sense when I got distracted while playing puzzle games, went to Doom Scroll and or fell asleep. And guess what I see now in Martian Pebbles videos. While on the topic of time, let's talk about upload schedule time. My videos have always been scheduled at a thing that looks like 1 p.m., although it's obviously not globally 1 p.m. This is actually annoying because I have to start from midnight, like the default, and change it into 1 p.m. every time. I don't think it's possible to change this element, like to have a default. So, like, I thought I made a mistake like doing this because freaking Rock of Aliens was was had these uploads at midnight, which was the lazier solution. And I thought that was better. Like I wanted to do that as well, but I just ha I just didn't want to change it. So my videos have been at 1 p.m. every single time, ever since I did daily uploads or daily scheduled. And then what do I see? Making a surprisingly small change. I'm changing my daily upload time by exactly 12 hours. Oh, and also I set my computer to not give a crap about daylight crap Trapping, is ruining time zone, ruining sleep schedule time. So it ended up that we are now at the exact same upload time, which is absolutely stupid, 10 out of 10. And honestly, if you want to talk about how I steal, it's not about like the games, oh you play the same game. And honestly, if you're going to talk about anything that I stole, here is a better list of things that I stole, arguably. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this stupid video. This is the closest we're probably getting to a collab. Goodbye. Unless Aliens Rock snipes me into making a video on this topic.